everybody. I sure hope you're doing well, and uh, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, tonight, uh, I'm I'm really excited. Uh, I get to do something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I've always wanted to spend the night in an igloo, and here, uh, around here in this area of the Arctic, uh, the other day they had a igloo building event, and so there's just a bunch of these uh, smaller igloos not too far from town. And so tonight. I'm going to stay I'm going to stay the night in one of these igloos so keep on watching I hope you enjoy Okay so uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. Going to stay in an igloo tonight, and uh, first time for doing this. Um, it's really close to town, so it's not like I'm just going to come out into the wilderness and, and stay in the igloo for quite a while. Um, I'm just going to come here uh, a little bit before dark, set up my bed, get the, the stove uh, in there. I'm going to put a little stove in there for a little bit of heat, and uh, I don't know what to expect. You know, I don't want to be cold, uh, so I, I'm prepared. I'll show you how I'm going to set my bed up and uh, just get things all set up and organized, show you inside the igloo what it looks like, and it's a beautiful night. Uh, it's only about minus 8 Celsius uh, today, so beautiful, beautiful weather. It's perfect. There's no wind, and so anyway, I'm looking forward to this, and uh, anyway, Keep on watching and I'll show just how I'll set my bed up for the night. Okay, so here I am in the igloo. Picked this igloo here for tonight. And uh, what I've done here, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I have a uh, just a tarp down here. And then on top of it, I'm going to put some caribou hides. And uh, on top of the caribou hides, I'll put my sleeping bag. I have a 30 below rated sleeping bags. So anyway, I hope this will work out really good. Tarp just to keep the, uh, uh, keep, you know, just any moisture <clears throat> or anything like that. And then the, uh, of course, the caribou hides then to help for insulation. So anyway, yeah, I think it should be, should be pretty good. I hope I have, uh, I have a little stove I'm going to set up, a, a little Coleman stove with naphtha and it, it'll uh, hopefully seal the seal up here with the heat and uh, anyway so yeah I'm gonna get setting up the bed here a little bit and uh, keep on keep on working all right I'm just going around the igloo now and setting up uh, just filling in holes there's one hole right there that would be my hole for um, vent and air but uh, I'm just gonna just trying to fit some blocks around the front here right now in order to seal it in there okay well there's a close-up of the temperature here in the igloo right now, looks like it's uh, minus five Celsius. That's about 22 Fahrenheit. So um, anyway, I'm just going to actually start the start the stove here soon, and I just uh, just kind of let it get warm up warmed up a bit in here. Um, it's not even really dark outside completely yet. Um, there's my snowmobile, my sled. You can see the lights from the town right there. So um, like I said, less than a half a half a kilometer away. I'm just uh, really close to town, but uh, I do need to work on my close closure for the opening here uh, Just want to make sure it's gonna keep the uh, heat in and uh, You know, it's uh, uh, It's pretty dark there. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, there's my breather hole that you saw from the outside and uh, Just to let some fresh air in so anyway, I am going to get ready and start start this stove here Okay, well a uh, little update here um, since there are multiple igloos in the area, I had the luxury to change igloos. And so I actually did that. Um, I'm in a, a bit of a bigger igloo now, and um, I felt more comfortable. I feel more comfortable in here, I believe. Um, that other one, I was really, where I would have been sleeping was pretty close to the stove. My elbow would have been pretty close to it. The stove was on a little bit of a slant. I couldn't get the stove level enough, so uh, I decided to switch igloos. This one is quite a bit uh, bigger, and uh, just a, it's a really, really nice igloo. And uh, I don't know how much, how well you can see here, but uh, anyway, quite a bit, quite a bit bigger. Feel a lot more comfortable here. Okay, yep, temp hasn't changed. I'm sure it'll change a little bit uh, when I get the stove going again in here, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm a lot more comfortable. All right, so I cranked the stove up pretty high. 
can get a little bit of a better view and uh, I gotta gotta pump the stove a little bit it's uh, not doing too good in fact it's uh, it's on fire <laughs> gotta shut this off gotta fix the stove okay well an update here I'm back in the igloo um, I ended up just shutting down that stove as you saw, the flames were coming out in the wrong spot, and so I ended up just uh, throwing snow on it from the inside of the igloo here. But uh, I got my other little stove here. It's a single burner, Coleman, using uh, naphtha. Works good. Works really good. I can really feel. I can feel the heat coming off it, and uh, all in all, it's uh, um, all doing pretty good. Uh, when I got back home from home, it, the temperature was down. To uh, minus 10, it's back up to minus 5 now. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have some tea here. Put my cup on there and uh, let that boil away and have some tea. Water's boiling, so it's pretty good. Yeah, the tea I'm gonna have tonight it is a really nice herbal blend as you say in the States herbal blend here in Canada we say herbal blend but uh, anyway Northern Delights Inuit herbal tea and uh, just got some unique blends in it uh, unique things let me turn it over and see what uh, what do we have here um, Okay, that's the French side. <laughs> Never mind. Um, anyway, I think on the box I saw it has blueberries and, and things like that. It's from Labrador, and uh, just the tea, just from uh, the natural ingredients there. So anyway, looking forward to trying that. I've I've had it before. It's it's really good. All right, well I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my tea here, and uh, got these really nice candles. I really like them. I'm doing really well. Doing really good here. Lots of light, so. See if the tea's. Nope, don't want to pour wax in the tea. I might need a little bit more. Being a herbal tea, it does take a little extra time to, to steep, but uh, my breath's, I really see my breath here in the igloo, but uh, it's actually warmed up. Uh, it's at minus four now, so um, still all bundled up. I think, though, when I get in the sleeping bag, things will be really good, but uh, anyway. I'm thirsty, gotta try the tea here. Mmm, pretty hot. Oh yeah, that's really good. Even though I forgot my sugar, still pretty good tea, so. This is a 30 below sleeping bag. And so if it's only minus four in here, uh, technically I should be plenty warm. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna sit here sip on my tea a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna gonna read a little bit so anyway so far so good everything's great I uh, really glad really glad I came out and and uh, we'll see how things go if I can get some good sleep tonight I'm gonna leave the leave the little stove on all night I've got my can extra can of naphtha here and I imagine I'll have to fill it sometime in the middle of the night, but uh, uh, right now, you know, feeling feeling pretty good. I'm a little cool, but um, I'm going to get in under the bag and get my hoodie up, my hood back on, and uh, just uh, try to get some sleep. It's about 10, 10.30, 10 10.35 here, so um, anyway, got, uh, good, got a good uh, night's rest ahead of me, I hope. So. Okay, well, hello there, everybody. Um, it's just about four o'clock now in the morning, and um, 
I've had to refill my little stove um, twice now and it looks like about every three hours I think it's if I've uh, remembered right but uh, I've been doing pretty good not very cold at, uh, at all just um, under the under the sleeping bag and doing pretty good oh, oh well morning morning here I am in the in the igloo still and um, got a little cooler in here tonight and the night um, uh, looks like the thermometer says about minus 10 minus 10 degrees so it's uh, it's pretty cold pretty cold my glasses <laughs> glasses are fogging up and everything but uh, anyway I'm gonna get the uh, get some get the water on here and uh, get some coffee and then pack up and head back to my house but um, anyway it's a neat pretty neat experience here enjoyed it enjoyed it quite a bit that's my tea tea from last night <laughs> all right water here. My water didn't freeze in my canteen, so that was cool. No pun intended. Just gonna have some instant coffee. Instant coffee here this morning, so. I can hear the wind blowing out there a little bit. I think it's a it's a bit windier than last night, so um, it's a little, a little nice to be. It's nice to be protected in here. Time to try my coffee here. Ooh, pretty hot. Ah, there we go, that's better. Uh, yeah, definitely is a bit cold. I'm just kind of huddling in my sleeping bag here still. And um, if I hadn't had this bag, this good sleeping bag, um, it would have been a pretty cold night. I, I would have had, <laughs> I would have probably had to go, go back home. You know, it, it, this igloo's got issues. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. When I mean, uh, when I say issues, um, there uh, definitely could have been some better windproofing and uh, lots of little holes that need to be filled and and all that. But uh, you know, this sleeping bag did the trick. Like. Um, I haven't used this sleeping bag a whole lot. I usually I take this out when I go hunting. Um, this is a 34 by 90, 34 inches by 90 inches, um, minus 30 uh, weight bag. It's it's uh, not not down. It's Thermolite Qualo. Weighs uh, eight pounds, 14 ounces. Um, anyway, good good bag, good bag made by Cabela's. Um, I think you can probably see that there. Um, one of the things, the only complaint I have is it's narrow. Like I, I guess I roll around a lot and so laying down, uh, man, it, I felt like I was in, uh, you know, a mummy, even though this isn't a mummy bag, it's, it's a rectangle bag, but it's a small, it's a smaller bag. But anyway, all in all, man, really happy, really happy. The bag, sleeping bag did really well, even though it never, didn't get to minus 30, um, definitely would have been cold at minus 30 even in this bag I think but uh, yeah anyway um, yeah let me just show you show you what I mean about this igloo up here after I switched igloos last night that's where I had the stove right there and uh, when that all those big flames were going up and uh, the stove 
you know, really wasn't operating safely or properly. Uh, look what it did to the top of the igloo. It's all, all black. I mean, look at all that. It's just uh, really remarkable. All, it must have been a lot of black smoke. I couldn't really see all the black smoke, but um, all the heat, you know, going up to the top of the igloo. Look what, uh, look what it did up there. It melted, melted um, some holes like that hole right there. That was originally just the the vent hole, and it was about the size of uh, maybe a soup can wide. Um, but then there's some other cracks and stuff, and all the the heat just melted that. And there's a bunch of other cracks, and there's there's a couple annoying little cracks right here, and I can just feel the cold air blowing in. Like uh, it's blowing snow a little bit out there. I haven't actually looked outside, but. I can feel the cold air. I can feel snow blowing in from some of these cracks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, lots of lots of issues here with this igloo. Yeah. So definitely would uh, if I were to stay here a couple nights, I'd have a lot of work to do on this igloo to um, make it more windproof, make the air, uh, you know, keep the the warm air in. And Hope, uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the video. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna pack up here now a little bit. Uh, well, you know, finish my coffee, pack up, and then I'm gonna go outside and see what is that, what exactly the day looks like, and uh, put my stuff in my sled and start the snowmobile and go back to my house. So, anyway, yeah, lots of fun. Uh, really, really, really blowing. Got to get the snowmobile started, and uh, it's uh, quite a uh, little bit of a windy day today. So anyway, uh, just get the inside here real quick and show you. Just get you out of the wind and uh, see. Uh, it's amazing how quick, amazing how quick the snow is blowing in here. It's a good thing I had that door covered because um, it was it would have been pretty pretty blowy all night as a, or as the wind picked up so anyway yeah I'm gonna pack up here all right so I'm just packing up here and uh, just uh, finishing finishing my my night my first night ever in an igloo pretty nasty wind out there so I'm um, just glad I don't have to travel far just glad I'm close to town and uh, but anyway I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed the w video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not. And uh, we'll see you here next time on New Man Explore.